Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe right now. Uh, Prestissimo is as quickly as possible. Big shout out to each and every one of you that support the channel. And uh, God bless you all in your various different time zones. So, let's get straight to right that station. His Excellency Turkey Alashik recently met with um, the future of American heavyweight boxing, Jared Big Baby Anderson. You know, he met with him and he said this. He said right here, the talented Jerry Anderson is with us now on August 3rd. Riyadh season card at LA against the Bronze Bomber, Deontay the Bronze Bomber Ward. If he's ready by then to fight after 1st of June's fight against Jan Jilei Jang, I always believe that boxing would be at the peak when you have young American heavyweights like Jared Anderson, which I also believe in his talent and his promising future. My advice to him, focus on your future, training and commitment and you will reach your goals. Happy to collaborate with Top Rank again. Real season card 3rd of August in LA will be one for the history. First of all, let me commend His Excellency Turkey Lashik for always having um a scheduled plan for boxing because I don't think we've had something like this before. In a very long time we haven't had something at all like this. Like for someone to have or, or an already future matchup planned in case of efficacy. Do I think Deontay Water makes the August the third card? No, because that's like almost it's going to be difficult unless Wada gets past Janjali in flying colors. But if Wada does do it, then that would be, um, that would be admirable. I will tell you right now, I don't think Joshua can do something like that. That's like going from a 50 fight, a tough fight after coming from a loss and going to a, a Jerry Anderson fight. I don't think Jerry Anderson beats Wada though. I think I've seen him. I've seen his fight against Charles Martin. Charles Martin literally took the fight on a very short notice and put the bidding on Anderson. Anderson, when he gets hit, he, he tends to wobble a lot. And his chin, I don't think his chin will hold up against Walter because he's going to get hit. That's a fact. He cannot, like, there is no way Anderson doesn't get hit by water. Can he take water punches? Can he be as slick as, as uh, Joseph Parker? I think it will be a, a two, three fights too late. But one thing I'm seeing right here, what my, 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 one, one thing I know right here is that Anderson, regardless, would fight on that card. Would be on that card. And right here, I'm having some sort of uh, feelings towards it because I see top rank how they are putting Anderson out there as the future American boxing every everywhere boxing and stuff like that. And I'm not seeing if Ajabba pr promoted like that. Ajabba should be meeting with Cecilia as well. I mean, we have a huge uh, diaspora of Nigerians in uh, in all Houston, in Texas. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna make a separate video for that because I think Ajabba is not up there in age anymore, and he needs the big fight. We've seen Ajabba whenever he fights. Um, a very competitive fight. He he does when he, he does where he's, he does where his best comes out. But when he fights guys like Vianello, who are very tricky customers, you know they tend to catch him off guard. Sometimes, but he still wins the fight. But they, they catch him off guard. Ajaba is a big time fighter. As a beast like that shouldn't shouldn't be on a shelf or as a backup plan. So I believe that. Anderson will fight on the card. I would, I would love to see Ajabba on the card. I'd love to see Ajabba fight in Saudi, get the Saudi, get the Saudi money because let's see, it's let's see, let's see is very interested in boxing. And what a better, like the best Nigerian uh, 
boxer right now is a jagba i mean i mean nigerian with nigerian i like nigerian nationality like mean cuz joshua is is a nigerian you know but joshua represents britain so i mean the best nigerian um home home bred uh fighter right now is a jagba yeah home bred fighter but anyways um do i see this fight happening the card yeah i see uh, um i see dre and the fighting on the card but i don't know if it's going to be against water because water has a big big fight coming up against janjali that fight is not an easy fight for either of them janjali has that lefty that he can clip you with and and basically take your head off he take he can take your head off basically okay and then Deontay Wilder has that right hand like also do the same thing of course Jadley has more more tools to his with his softball he has more tools to like you can if you look at both of them you can tell that Jadley is the more is the more solid more technically uh better fighter but i think one thing people underestimate is that Wilder you know is a bronze medalist is a bronze medalist and you might criticize Wilder all you want Wilder has boxing for the mentors he just didn't use it as a pro because he was knocking guys out like from left to right i know we used to say yeah those were bombs and stuff like that but how many people can really knock people do, do you know what it takes to really knock someone out no matter how, whether they are bombs or not and the guys who was fight they were fighting they were ranked fighters basically some fighters wanted to be even for this trainer Malice Scott whom he brutalized you know he's been there with a legit boxer before in Luis Ortiz of course the age we know he's 75 but Luis Ortiz dropped uh, Andrews Jr. yeah 75 year old Luis Ortiz dropped Andrews Jr. but he never dropped Wilder so Wilder I believe Wilder is a rejuvenated fighter a fighter with a new life a rebirth of John Tawada is fast approaching and believe you me Jerry Anderson with his problems mental problems saying that he wants money and stuff like that I don't think I don't think he's I don't think he's the future of American rule boxing because I think I think mentally he's weak there's some things going on mentally he's not he's not a he's a big baby basically he's a, he's a kid you know he's a kid but he's weak mentally I can I can tell from some of the things i've heard so far but one thing i would say is that a lot of water fans are happy about this water the problem with water is that he's never been this active bro bro water for joseph parker not long ago it's fight to janjali june uh, 1st and then oh good bro that would like be that that's a hell of a schedule but you know like i said you cannot sit on the chair you can don't sit on the chair at the age of 38 what is 38 now so you have to be active and the saying i don't know if he's ready for that fight or what a fight yet but we'll see what happens here yeah, tell me look guys like the video share subscribe i, I appreciate each and every one of you what is the press conference of, between him and janjali was very 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 telling you know on what on ways mindset is I mean water want is bringing that monster back and I'm very happy. I'm happy. I'm a, I'm a water fan. You know, I'm a water fan now. So I've been a water fan for the, for the past 2 years. And it's been good. Man, water has changed. Of course, the hunger, it lost the hunger, but I want to say it back. That's the most important thing, man. Can't wait. The pain that I've been doing over these last years is going to be is 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 you will see what I'm This is not an easy task that we do. Boxing is 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 straight strictly a business. It's not a sport for me. I always say the business of boxing and that's what it is according. We risk our lives for you guys in entertainment and here I am again.
I'm not playing around this time. I have nothing to lose. I feel like I've lost a lot of things in my life, even some of the closest people in my life. So I don't feel like I have nothing else to lose, but only to gain. And this fight, we're going to tell. We're going to see. It's enough of the talking. I even told my team, I don't want to hear how good I look, how I am, this and this. I'm not going to even be posting too much this time around. Because I mean business. I can feel the desire and the sensation in my heart again. That hunger, that monster, that beast is coming back. The pain that I've endured over these last years is going to be, it's, 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 you will see.